Sounds like a cool idea for one of our coastal communities, Faith. Speaking of less beach weather, maybe a little bit more fall in the forecast. Yeah, definitely it's, it's giving more fall for <laughs> sure. Yeah, we're going to talk about this cold front already. Feels like temperatures as we see across the state really are pretty nice to start our morning. 74 here in Corpus Christi, upper 60s as we head up north and a big cold front, kind of like a, a smiley face letting us know, like you said, Lexus, that sweater weather is on the way to South Texas. Once again, we're watching temperatures today, seeing about 91 degrees for our afternoon high, mostly sunny skies. So it's going to be a beautiful weekend to head outside, not expecting too much rain, maybe a stray isolated shower, but it's going to be very limited, going to be mostly sunny skies dry conditions throughout our afternoon. What we are watching though is for those winds to pick up ahead of that cold front. We start to notice about mid 20 wind gusts around this morning. We start to see sustained winds around about 15 miles per hour later in the afternoon. That's when we're expecting some of the breeziest conditions that we'll see throughout the day up to about 30 miles per hour wind gusts on the board. Winds out of the north northeast up to about 20 miles per hour, cranking up a little bit higher, about 25 in certain areas throughout the evening overnight when we're actually expecting that cold front to move through into pre dawn Sunday winds won't really be that strong. So once again, the winds are going to be stronger before ahead of that front expecting about 20 mile per hour wind gusts and heading into tomorrow. We'll see winds picking up once again, but not as high as today expecting closer around 25 on the wind gust board. Here's a look at where that cold front is right now. Once again, sitting up in North Texas for our friends going to arrive here in the coast bend, getting a little bit closer as we head overnight into our evening into pre dawn tomorrow. We start to notice though after we see that front things cool us down a little bit more. The next concern is going to be this stationary front. That's what's associated with things is going on in the tropics going to bring us some more moisture and rise of humidity back from what is just dropping from the cold front. We start to notice more moisture moving into the area as we head into midweek Tuesday and Wednesday on the board and really that's going to be the main concern is where that low goes that's going to determine how much rain we get. So that's going to be something to watch out for that we're paying close attention to see if any weather impact alert days will be issued for Tuesday or Wednesday. Nonetheless, regardless of what happens in the tropics, still expecting some rain in the forecast through about Friday. Getting closer for our friends that are along the coast. You guys getting close to about two inches as you head further west. That's where you're hanging on a little bit closer to an inch or less than that. Once again, the rain is going to kind of depend upon where that low sits at but we're already seeing some flood risk on the board for us heading into the new week. Monday at a marginal risk, a little bit more of us get included in that slight risk on Tuesday, a little bit further north of the of the coastal bend and Wednesday back to that marginal risk. Either way, because of the cold front, we're gonna start to notice that drop of the dew point. So things are really gonna feel even more comfortable as we head into your Sunday afternoon. But once again, that stationary front kind of sitting just below us, a little bit more tropical moisture in the Gulf. That's gonna kind of help to allow that dew point to rise back up and bring more humid conditions into the coastal bend. Either way, tomorrow morning, that's when I'm really looking at. We could see our first 60 degree temperatures since May, so that's going to be something exciting. Once again, either way, my sweater is out for good. It's September Lexus, so you know it's time for me to go ahead and, and bundle on up. <laughs>